Hi guys, welcome to Toby's Blogs. And I just want to say this quick video um, that me and my friend Errol have been doing uh, Doctor Who reviews on the new channel, Sharus Jack. And um, we're doing um, Doctor Who reviews on there of all the seasons of Doctor Who and other Doctor Who videos. So if you want to go and check that out, there's a link down below. And I'll leave you with a few clips of us discussing Doctor Who. Thank you and goodbye. And That's like the thought. dark side of the story as well, with the cavemen and the mm. cave of skulls. That's right, it was quite sort of gruesome in some and senses. And the doctor nearly tried the to kill the skulls. other person because That's they were stopping right. all their missions, so they wanted to kill and, the other uh, cavemen. I think Warris Hussein did say, um, one of the directors from this early era, that it needed to be toned down because um, they were saying it was a bit too violent, um, this first particular story, some of the scenes. scenes. No. But um, that's, that's a fantastic, fantastic story. story yes. uh, seven parts, but just yeah. so much adventure. And that was very important. The Daleks, yeah. instantly a success overnight. Mm -hmm. um, the Dalek City, extremely well realised on a budget. You know, that was literally a shoestring budget, to be honest. I love the monster in that uh, that uh, river or lake. Yeah, it sucks that people was, in. Oh, yeah, oh, was, oh, yeah was, well, those things, you know. the, those creatures. Oh, and, the braids. Yeah. I have to say, it was probably pretty cheap. Yes. <laughs> Inflatable balloons or condoms, whatever they were. But, um, <laughs> the mobility and dexterity. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it reminds me of my science teacher. Mm. Sorry, I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> uh, so let's move on to the next story. The Sensorites. Different story. Very different from the Aztecs. Um, maybe not as well realised as some of the other characters we had. Yeah. I think there was a good plot line there. But I don't think it was visually as exciting. Yeah. No, I mean, the Sensorites seems a little bit boring in some respects. And we always well, uh, we always uh, mention the fat yeah, Sensorite. Yeah, Another yeah. story which, again, was very good. Yes. The Romans. Romans. And uh, a lot of historical research done on this one. Mm. But a lot of comedy injected into it. And I think it worked. Mm. I mean, uh, William Hartnell's Doctor being falsely uh, identified as Maximus Battalion or Petulian. Although they seem to pronounce it God knows how many different ways in the story. Uh, and, of course, the, the wonderful Emperor Nero... Um, played wonderfully by the actor uh, who was uh, in the story and the lady Papaya oh my goodness she was just like a vicious bitch <laughs> she just wanted to kill um, Barbara's oh, character kill, didn't she <laughs> kill her yes <laughs> and then when she, she gets so angry and her temper just chucks a, was a glass of wine or something or all sorts of things on the floor from the, the family sort of poisoner I suppose the creator of needles yeah. well there's other ones the, the Optra Oh my god, don't. And if you come from above, you, you will die. die. I mean, <laughs> they like, I mean, there must be real athletes or something, or gymnasts. Around, <laughs> and she's digging around. into the side, and then all this acid comes out, and she just shoves her head in it. And she goes, Aah! Aah! And it was just like. And then the, goes, what's happening to her? She's dying. Every goes, creature is fine, but the Optera, well, I mean, it might be the she Optera. She must the hole, to be honest. Or we die. Yes, they weren't very good. But all the other creatures, you know, were very good. And I did like the end. I love, I love the yeah. way the uh, the Zabi, their heads were in the water. <laughs> Licking the water at the end. 